Cisco Live is a huge customer conference put on by Cisco. I've been, I think this year will be 21 times. It's a great conference. It's so wonderful that people have come to call it Summer Camp for Networking Nerds. It really is great, but it can be overwhelming. There's just more to do than you can get to. So leading up to the show, I was thinking about you, the folks that normally watch my videos, and most of you are studying for CCNA. And I thought, how could you enjoy the conference? In part because if you're studying for CCNA, you may not even be in a networking job yet, or you may be in a job where your boss wouldn't consider sending you to summer camp yet, because it can add up the cost of the travel and for the show. So I've come up with a curated list of activities that are happening that week. So stuff you could do to create a summer camp experience for you back at the office or at home without the travel. So here we go. What you can do to have your own summer camp for networking nerds. First up, we'll talk about the Cisco Live broadcast schedule. These are timed events with a schedule. I'll show you how to get to the schedule and figure out what to watch. Then at the show, there are what they call walk-in self-paced labs, lab exercises you can do there, and I'll tell you how to do some similar ones from your desk at home. And then finally, we'll talk about the Cisco Youth Theater from the same folks that bring us our certifications. Those happen live on a schedule, and I'll tell you how to find the schedule and to attend those live just as if you're sitting out there in some chairs. As always, if you want to find me, here's a link to get to all my social media sites. You can scan the QR code as well if you want to find me as well. So the first leg of your customized summer camp will be these professionally produced broadcast sessions. So here's a photo from a tour from last year of the behind the scenes people getting ready for the show. So what's it about? Well, they're going to produce this live show, basically, and you can tune in from the Internet, right? So I sifted through the schedule and I kind of categorized things for you to think about. Pick a session based on how much it'll just blow your mind on the possibilities of what's happening. And I call those mind benders. Here's a bent bar just to show that it's bending your mind. I didn't even know that was possible. And then another kind, you know, we're networking nerds, so nerds love tech. So I look for things that if you're in the middle of studying for CCNA, sessions that you could understand most of what they're talking about, but hey, it's still nerding out, right? So I categorized those, and I looked at the entire three-day broadcast schedule. The broadcasts are on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of that week, and picked my top five. So here they are. So as far as mind-bending, opening your mind, there's a keynote at 8.30 on Tuesday, and it's a bunch of different senior vice presidents from Cisco, and what they'll probably do is get about 10 minutes each to tell you, here's one or two problems we're trying to solve, and here's how we can solve it. And those are, those are things that maybe you've never thought about. So it's a great way to get your mind thinking about what's possible. Then later that day, there's one called Unified Branch. In CCNA, we talk a lot about campus technologies and what happens at the branch. Well, here's a nerd out session on how Cisco envisions the future of branch offices. Then on Wednesday, there's another keynote, but it's very different. The person in charge, Chuck Robbins at Cisco, he's got the stage for most of that session. So you get to see all the stuff that's, you know, first on his mind about what's going on at Cisco and open your mind again. And then for a nerd out session, if AI is the big thing now, quantum's the other big thing. It just doesn't get the hype. So you, you definitely want to attend one thing on quantum while you're there. There just aren't as many in the schedule. This was a This one's a good place to get a little bit of quantum while you're at the show at camp. And then Thursday, there's no keynote and nothing that I really thought was a good mind bender for you. But hey, there's one on campus land. Campus land is a huge part of CCNA. And there's a great nerd out session for you there on Thursday. So let me show you how to navigate to find that broadcast schedule and then get to the pages where you can open up and watch the sessions. All right. So you go to ciscolive.com. And by the way, these pages will change when the show is over. So leading up to the show and during the show, you'll get to CiscoLive.com and click in the box for San Diego for this year's 2025 show, and you'll get to a new page. And up at the top, you have some menu items. You want to go to the far left where it says Attend, and notice the bottom item says Broadcast Agenda, and that's where you want to go to see the schedule for broadcasts. And I'm going to scroll down. And we see Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And by clicking those days, you get to see the agenda each day. By default, it shows specific time. That's the time zone where the event is happening. It's in San Diego. But you could change it to your U.S. time zone if you care to look at it 
in your time zone. But you could scroll down and look around. Here's that 8.30 Tuesday, 8.30 Pacific time keynote session that I had mentioned, and you can read about that. Or I think at a 3 o'clock time slot for our Unified Branch session, and you could read about that. And that's how you would find out about it. And you come back to this same page to then click to engage and see the broadcast when the time comes. I believe it's true, although I couldn't verify it before the show. I believe it's true that you may have to sign in first. You'd use your same free sign-on information that you use to sign on at cisco.com any other time to get access. So you don't have to register for the event, but you will probably have to sign on at cisco.com to get access. At Cisco Live, imagine this. It's the huge room with probably 30 or 40 foot high ceilings. It looks industrial, but it's full of vendor areas. Cisco stages, associated vendors, all sorts of things. Lots and lots of people walking around a typical convention floor. But part of it's roped off with tables and laptops and people doing labs. And that's the walk-in self-paced lab area. And there's Cisco employees helping people with questions about those labs. And it's really cool to see. Last year, I met a guy having breakfast who that's all he did all day long every day at the show and didn't get done with all the labs, all right? There's more to do than you could possibly do just with these walk-in self-paced labs. But guess what? Those aren't available from afar. You've got to be at the show to get to those. So I thought, well, what could you do from home that's like that? And I could have pointed you to my same old config labs at searchskills.com. Those would be useful, but I do that all the time here at this channel anyway. So I thought, what's different and new? And you guess it already. There are some labs at Cisco U, and there are some that are appropriate for CCNA study. So what I did was I went to Cisco U, found the labs. They call them tutorials there uh, that are appropriate for CCNAs, and I picked 10. I picked five that are about layer two and five that are about layer three, and those are the topics there you see on the page. I have linked them in the description, so expand the description to this video. You can click the links. It'll require you to log into Cisco U for free with your same old cisco.com user ID, and you can you can do those labs, all right? So you can do those from afar at your leisure in between other sessions for your summer camp. And I'm gonna give you a quick demo of both the walk-in self-paced labs, just so you get to see what that's about a little bit, and how to navigate to look around and explore more for those Cisco U tutorial labs. First, let me give you a quick demo of these walk-in labs at Cisco Live. I know you can't do them from, uh, from afar, but it's, it's kind of interesting to see. So you go back to CiscoLive.com, you click for the San Diego show. There we go. And if instead of going to the attend item at the top, you look at learn and you look for the session catalog, that's where it lists all the different things you can do. And it turns out walk-in labs are a session type. So if I click session type and click walk-in lab, I'm basically filtering all those things I can do down to just the walk-in labs. And I'm scrolling back up to the top and I see 135 sessions. So interpreted, there are 135 different labs where you can go stand in line, wait, they'll sit you at a laptop, they'll give you a few instructions, they'll come answer your questions while you do that lab. It's pretty cool stuff. But you're going to do labs at Cisco U. So what I've done is I've connected at u.cisco.com and I've logged in already and you can establish a free login. And I've made it look like I've got a free account. I've got a paid account, but I've changed some things to make it look like I've got a free account. So if you go up to Explore, then it lets you basically search for labs. And what I think the right sequence is to find the most CCNA-appropriate labs are the following. You scroll far down on the left to make sure you pick the Cisco U free level. And that is, I'm going to show you that again. I'm going to scroll down. That means you won't find any labs that then will require you to pay a little money to get to them. All right. You can explore those that will cost you money, but a good place to start is just looking at the free content, right? Then you scroll back up to the content type and you pick tutorial because to Cisco U tutorial means lab. And then the technology, most of CCNA is networking, so you pick networking. And if you go through those three filters, you get 47 results today at least. That'll change over time, like configure OSPF for IPv4 routing. There you go. You could click and start doing that lab. You can look through them. The top 10 that I suggest in the description to this video all come from this list of 47. 
The third branch of your summer camp from afar is to hang out with Learn with Cisco some more. They bring you certifications and learning network and Cisco U and Network Academy. They bring you those walk-in self-paced labs. And part of what they do at the show is they have a theater or session area in the world of solutions, typically right next to the walk-in labs area. And you can just walk up and sit down and listen to these 30-minute sessions. They happen Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of the show. And they will live stream those sessions for you, for anyone, at their YouTube channel. That's cleverly named Cisco U. Tube, and they happen throughout the day. So here are the times of day where those 30-minute sessions begin. Notice they end a little early on Thursday, and it's different start times on Monday. Now, I obviously don't expect you to sit there and watch these all day long. By the way, there's 15 minutes in between sessions as well, right? But you can pick the ones you like most. So I've gone ahead and picked some that I think are great for CCNAs at these time slots. The time slots shown here are, again, Pacific Time U.S. So, for instance, 9.30 on Monday is Patrick Gargano talking about SD-WAN. Patrick talks a lot about CCNA topics. You've probably seen him online with other Cisco webinars. At 3.30, it's Peter Palich talking about OSPF. He's great on that topic. Tuesday, it's two sessions from Hank Preston. He's one of my favorite Cisco Live speakers, so I would go to listen to Hank talk about most anything because he's just such a great presenter. And then Wednesday morning, 1045 session in particular, it's about IP version 6. You want to have your mind blown about the future of IPv6 and what's going on there? Catch a quick 30 minutes on that on Thursday. To get ready for all this, you should be able to navigate and find the session schedule for the Cisco U Theater. So if you start back at CiscoLive.com and you click in the San Diego box to get to that show, and you look at the top and you look up at Learn, you want to go back to the session catalog. That's where you get to everything that's a learning event here. And you might recall, if you scroll down with the session catalog, you've got all these filters on the left. And the Cisco U Theater is a session type, and it's called Cisco U over here. It doesn't say theater on it. So if we click Cisco U, it filters these. So we get what says 34 sessions right now. The number of sessions might change between now and when you see this video. But it says 34 sessions. Now, that's spread over the four days. I know that because I've used this page getting ready to make this video. But if it's like, all right, what else could I filter on to see things? If you look down at the bottom left in the filters, it says day. So I've already told you it's Monday through Thursday, so clicking Sunday doesn't help. But if I click only Monday and I scroll back to the top now, instead of 34 sessions, there's 11 sessions, and they happen to be listed in uh, time order. So there's our 9 a.m. Pacific time Monday. And notice this heading says 9 a.m. That's the hour in which it falls but the start time is 9.30 a.m., so it's the time of day in the box that's the actual start time of the session, so 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Pacific time, we've got Patrick doing his thing on SD-WAN, and you can filter down through here and look at things. We've got the 3 o'clock that's actually a 3.30 start time, so it's in the 3 o'clock hour, but 3.30 start time with Peter on OSPF LSA types made simple. That'd be a great CCNA level session. If instead you want to look at what's going on on Tuesday, click the Tuesday button and you can look there. Then when it comes time to actually watch a session, you don't go to CiscoLive.com. You go to YouTube. So you want to go to YouTube.com, Cisco YouTube. That's letter U, tube. And you get to the Learn with Cisco page. And if I scroll down a bit at their homepage for their channel, we see upcoming live streams. And right now, when I did this, when I recorded the video, they've got four live streams scheduled. And they are for, you guessed it, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of the Cisco Live Show. And those are placeholders for the live stream from the Cisco U Theater. So on Monday... June the 9th. I hate to click because then I'm going to start the live stream, but on June 9th, you click that one and you'll just be connected to the theater there. And just in front, I'm going to scroll down. We see CCNA exam topics. There in the thumbnail are photos of two of your presenters that you would see if you picked my sessions. You see Hank on the left and Patrick on the right. 
So are you going to do this or not? I am curious, truly. So tell me here with a comment or leave me a comment over at Twitter or X or LinkedIn. And hey, you go to camp, you get a patch to put on your jacket. So if you want the badge from the camp, you can uh, download the badge here at this link that you can type in. Notice it starts with files instead of dub, dub, dub. Additionally, if you happen to go to Cisco Live in person, here's a photo from last year's bookstore, by the way. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 2 to 3 p.m. is a Meet the Author event. I won't be at all of those times, but watch on my X account and LinkedIn account, and eventually I'll post here are the exact times I expect to be there. Stop by and say hi, and by the way, I'll have stickers of our summer camp patch there as well. I look forward to seeing you at camp, either online or in person at Cisco Live. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about CCNA, on the left, you can click to check out my free CCNA course playlist. Or on the right, you can check out my list of CCNA labs. Hey, thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon.